2008, the Council produced its own carbon management plan. This challenges the Council to reduce its own carbon emissions by 40% by 2013. A really tough ask, but one which would ultimately save the Council over £4 million at today's energy prices. We have now completed Salford's first climate change strategy on behalf of the Salford Strategic Partnership. This is a high-level document which looks to develop a response to climate change through three themes. To reduce the carbon footprint of the city and play our part in meeting the national target of an 80% carbon reduction by 2050. By looking at climate adaptation to make our city resilient to predict changes in weather, especially flood risk. By looking at behavioural change to raise awareness across all sectors about the part that everyone has to play in meeting the challenges of climate change. The conference highlighted examples of good practice, showed what initiatives are already taking place and brought partners even more closely together. Now we need to harness your enthusiasm and expertise to help create a better, safer future for the city today and for future generations tomorrow. And those of you that are avid uh, watchers of the media, readers of the newspapers or uh, politics geeks may have heard mention of this. It, it got explicit mention in the budget this week. This is government starting to think about householders to offer them upfront capital funding to retrofit their homes. We want to maximise the opportunity you know, nationally internationally. There are huge opportunities around the development of a, uh, a green economy Clearly this is a partnership approach, it's about developing those relationships, not slowing anything down at the local level, but actually trying to see where we can encourage, encourage work and actually speed things up. Uh, well, we've undertaken a, a fairly extensive stock condition survey. We recognise, I think, all housing providers now that we, we could play a key role uh, in tackling the impacts, the implications of, of climate change. If the country's going to make a start somewhere, why not in the social housing sector? A lot of the learning can take place within the social housing sector. Um, and if that learning develops, and particularly how we can do things economically and efficiently, uh, then, then that can roll out across all housing sectors. Peel has a philosophy of investing um, currently with assets of about five billion pounds. For us to have the that the maximum value out of those assets, they need to be as good as they can be, and sustainability is a big agenda for the property industry now. And to help us achieve this on Media City, we partnered with BRE Global. Briam Communities covers the whole development uh, and not just the buildings. Through Briam Communities, developers have to negotiate sustainability targets within this common framework, and they're also encouraged to address sustainability early in the development cycle. As a result, Media City became the first project in the world to achieve uh, this certification. Uh, and uh, to quote Carol Atkinson, the chief executive of, of BRE, said this is testament to Peel's commitment to achieving very high levels of sustainability on the development. We're bringing teams of scientists, people from the built environment, together with the psychologists. So yes, we are taking Salford terraced house and building it in a building. So we've gone for a pre-1920 style terraced house, so it has got the solid wall issues that we need to address. We can live in the house if we want to, and it's fully functional. And more importantly, it's in an environmentally controllable chamber. So we can take the heat, we can take it below zero to minus three and take the temperature up to 30 degrees C. More importantly, we can hold it there. And as we said before, more importantly, in the USP, I must stress this is unique in Europe as far as we are aware. We have our, our environments where we can, we, we can look around a, a, a sort of low, locality, for instance, and this is an area of uh, scope that we've modelled, and look at a range of uses for various consultations that we that we can do. This is an area of Seymour Street in Stoke. We're looking at group repair elements on this particular street. 
So we looked at uh, things where we, we changed, for instance, the windows on the house. But what we thought then was, well, let's look at other information that we can use the model for. So we took um, some thermal data for the, for the area and lined it onto, onto the housing stock. And it was really to try and help get messages across. Before the recession, there were very ambitious targets for the city region to um, grow the economy. But we can't continue to grow the economy and let carbon emissions go out of control. We need to bring down emissions, even though we might want to be growing the economy. And that's the real challenge at the moment. We are covering the Greater Manchester Authority. It's the only one we don't cover is winning. The first thing, and I've got to keep on stressing this to people, it isn't about how much waste we have to handle. What we're after doing is actually getting the message across to people about reducing the amount of waste. But quite clearly, tackling the landfill problem is one of the first things on the agenda. But to do that, you need to get the technology and you need to change a lot of other factors as we're moving forward. We deliver at a sub-regional level, so across Greater Manchester covering here, we deliver through Brownwood, and we also have some specific projects that work with key sectors in the North West. So chemicals, food and drink, automotive and textiles. Um, our approach means that we can work with very small businesses and still have an effective value for money. Looking at the numbers now, um, we live in a, a time where you have to evidence things. If you don't evidence things, then your, your funding is pretty much um, over and done with before it starts. And I think evidence is really important. Um, if we want businesses to change, if we want people to change, we have to show them that there is value in that change. Before our, our previous Chief Exec, we talked about ourselves as being an adaptation a, uh, agency. We are now in a position of effectively regulating more than 50% of CO2 produced in the UK. Oh, sorry, England and Wales. Every time you turn the tap on, if you're living somewhere in Manchester, every time you flush the loo, every time you think, oh, I'll leave the tap running, I'll clean your teeth, that drops a bit. It isn't magic, every little bit counts. This is now at about 60%. It's tracking very closely what happened in 1995, but it's starting from a lower point than it was in 1995. And so what did we set out to do? Well, actually what we set out to do was try to develop a community climate change action plan. And I say try to develop because I think we probably agree, those of us that are involved in the project at the moment, that we probably haven't got an action plan as yet, but we are working towards that. What we have done is we've delivered lots of projects, lots of activity, and those projects were, were developed out of ideas that came from the community through workshops and opportunities for people to come together to really learn and understand about climate change and, and how it affects people within their homes, within their communities, within their groups and organisations. Talks about the work that's being done, and all of it is being done with partners. We're all working with somebody else, getting people together to address uh, these issues. And as is usual with Salford, we just get on and do it. And then sometimes we think about the strategy a bit later on. Um, and uh, you know, a few uh, a few months ago, we had uh, inspectors round who said, "You're doing fantastic things on the environment. In the point to all the things that we're doing. Where's your strategy?" Well, oh, right. but but they were right. Uh, we did need uh, a, a document that brought things uh, together and it's a document which is not just uh, a strategy for Salford City Council. Uh, it is one which outlines the issues that we face, it justifies the choice of the issues, it prioritises those issues and it is a call to action. I'd like to thank all of our speakers today, those that have spoken this afternoon. Let's give them all another round of applause.